And the last function which we are going to uh, discuss is launching a reverse shell, or the back doors. So in this case, we'll be creating back door on this machine that is Metasploitable 2. And uh, here, this we can consider this as a victim machine. We are creating backdoor here. And for this backdoor means, for example, we want to control this machine from this Kali Linux machine. Yeah? We want to issue maybe some commands. I mean, this Metasploitable machine will be under the control of Kali Linux machine. When we'll be able to create a backdoor on this Metasploitable. And for this, we have this command that is nc minus l minus p. And then this is the port number. So now this machine will be in listening mode. And this will be, this will be the port on which it, be, it will be listening. And then this is uh, execute. And then pin bash is actually giving the bash shell where we will be able to uh, issue commands. We'll be using commands there. And then on the attacking machine, we have just have to again use netcat and we have to give the IP address of this victim's machine and then the port number to which this victim machine is listening. And this execute, so this is used to execute bin bash. Uh, this will start a bash command prompt and this will allow hacker to execute command on this target machine. So of course we will be sitting here, but we will have a control of this victim machine and we can issue certain commands here to control the operation of this metasploitable. So again, to demonstrate it, we have this Kali Linux machine, which we'll be using as an attacking machine or attacker machine. And this will again be a victim that is metasploitable. So this is a victim, maybe I clear it. So for this, what are the simple commands which we need to issue? So for this, we are getting this machine ready. This is the victim's machine. So here we are creating backdoor that is metasploitable. So we need to issue some command that is sudo and nc minus l so we are asking this machine to listen on certain port so port this time we specify let's say any port like yeah 5252 five, so on this port this is this machine will start listening and then we want to say execute and then bash shell bin and bash so this will start start this bash shell for us on this uh, victim machine and then command is complete and we press enter so now this has started uh, listening on certain port and then we go to attacker machine and then this on attacker machine we just have to say netcat that's by nc and then we specify the ip address of our target that is 192.168.66.133 and then we specify the port number so that is 5454 so remember this is the port on which may be verified so this is the port sorry 545252 this is the port on which this meta exploitable machine is listening so i need to change it 5252 and then we just press enter and as soon as we press enter we have the control or we have the we have access to the back door which has been created on this metasploitable right and now to confirm that we are on metasploitable machine we can see that what is the ip address there so for this let's say run command if config and you can see this shows ip address is 192 168 and 133 so this is the ip address of metasploitable but if you want to see the IP address of this uh, Kali Linux machine, maybe I open another terminal and if I write if config, you can see IP address of Kali Linux machine is 138. But at the moment when we run this command here and the next second window, here we have actually access to the backdoor and what we see that is actually available on Metasploitable, right? And then maybe we can run this, this command that who is the user, for example, who's using this. For this, we have this command who. And you can see this shows that MSF admin. So MSF admin, you can see this. This was the MSF admin is the user of this machine. That's metasploitable. Right. So then we can also see maybe files there. So we can run maybe some other command. LS, you can see test and vulnerable files were there on that uh, metasploitable. 
So now you can see we can access that victims machine that is metasploitable to using uh, a, a backdoor which we created on victims machine and uh, yeah so this is the this was the last uh, use of netcat which i want to really show in this video but there are of course many other uses of this netcat maybe we'll discuss in some other video but i hope that these some uses of netcat may add in your information and uh, thank you thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some other video